welcome 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 let's go ahead and right away i know you guys love it when i do it lose the shoes uh, you probably can't see what i got on my feet but i got my captain america socks on today yeah buddy because we're going to get into that hamstring like i said we ever going to get into in that quad not even the hamstring but more so the quad in that hurdler stretch um, we're going to take advantage of the hurdler stretch in the opposite direction. We always are focused on that on that hamstring all the time. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to do the hamstring, but we're really going to get into tackling that quad because that quad is coming off of the psoas muscle that comes not only from the outside of the quad muscle, but the inside of it, which prohibits us from even moving good like this and is a great way for us to pull and have any groin issues, all right? our upper abdominal issues, all right? Pull our abs, um, our groin, okay? So let's get ahead of that. Um, plus it just gives us a lot more mobility through here, all right? A lot of us can't even go lean back into this position. And if we do, we have to come back and it's hardly any of a twist. So this right here is normally really tight, which is your abductor and hip flexor. So let's get into that. And how we're gonna start off with that is we're gonna bring this chair back. <coughs> And we're going to come across after I loosen these pant legs, which is awesome. I can almost turn these things into shorts. <laughs> All right. So come across that leg again, right? Just like that. And we're going to come and let gravity play its part. Don't try to push the leg down as you bring that arm on the outside, just like so. That gravity is going to play its part right there. All right. And with your reach, just like that. Try to keep that leg as straight as possible for your 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it on up. Oh, yeah. And when you're doing that, try your best to, you know, use right here where your leg is coming across the uh, other leg. You're not leaning on one particular joint. Uh, you're coming across something steady. Try to push up off of that part of the body as opposed to trying to come up with the part of the body you just stretched. All right, go ahead and let that leg slide down. And then this one comes on up gently, right like that. Oh, oh. I just got the hip pop, so I'm really happy about that. <clears throat> now let's see if we can ooh see we can pop it now that that uh that part that needed to be stretched is all exposed now you always think hey after i can release something oh all the tendon and ligament is relaxed but now that muscle says hey you have access to me now oh yeah we sure do hello muscle that we haven't seen in about three weeks and ten nine eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That is such a, a different stretch than I felt before we got that release of the hip. That is completely different. That stretch feels so much larger than this little thing that I was stretching here. Now it feels like I'm stretching almost that whole side of the back. That's awesome. Ah. Coming on up to the edge of the stool, bringing those heels together, just like that. Feeling like Dorothy. Clicking your heels three times, get it. And did she have on blue shoes? Or were they red? They were red. I got on blue. Cleansing breath in. Exhale out. Oh. Release through the chest. All right, now let's come into our scary stretch and then let's get straight away into our, ooh, let's drop that hip down. Let's do that one first. Set ourselves up for success. Drop that hip, drop that knee down inside, right parallel with the stool. Not touching the ground. Just above the ground, elongating that quad. Letting it know what it's about to get into. The beautiful thing about this one is that I can get into that back as well. I can get this whole thing coming. So now coming across the entire solar plex as well. And lean that back if you got the grace. Nice extension there. And up. Use this hand to pull you back into position. Ah, slide that leg back up. 
right here, the only thing you're gonna do is turn and drop. Lay the foot down. And, oh, wow, that is significantly tighter. Real TV right there, but guys, oh, gotta come into that gently. I want the stretch. Oh, yeah. Knee is off of the ground. I'm coming across the other side. Oh. Wow, I'm surprised how much the body responded. How good it responded to that. Really good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. Very nice body. Let's go to that side as well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, there's a lot going on down there. Oh. All right. Slide it up gently. All right. That was some activation for ya. All right, now let's come on down. Let's get rid of the stool now. Well, before we get rid of it, stretch that back out a little bit on its relaxation. Come on over for your scary stretch. Give it a nice relax. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I knew something said go ahead and get into the stool. Oh, nice cat and cow and release that bad boy immediately. Thank you, body. Let's see what else we got in store. It's going to give me any else. Give me anything else. Ah, those feet down. Mm -hmm. oh, I got left and right hip released. However, I haven't got the center yet. The big, big boom. All right. Come on back. We might as well, since we're in this position, we might as well get our Pigeon out of the way. Gotta go into pigeon really quick. Just in a second. Go ahead and come into child's pose. Oh, release those shoulders, bring those elbows down. As that weight drop those shoulders, you'll feel like those shoulders are. They're about to come out of the socket. They're not just right there, stretching out and gently pull back. Ah, yeah, slowly come forward. <sighs> nice release of the shoulder, right? Then drop that pelvis down, turn those hands out. Literally lay the pelvis down on the mat. Turn. Deep breath in, exhale, turn. That was the center release going the other direction. Oh. Now we're going to go into pigeon pose. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that right leg, bring it in and over. 
And just like that, and then we're gonna bring it up, slide that back leg out. See how it's in against me right now? This is just to stretch out that, that uh, introduce the quad. And then we're gonna bring that back leg back in. And we're gonna take this leg and bring it right at 90 degrees. Now, right when we bring it across at 90 degrees, we are not going to set this down. We're gonna bring it parallel to the ground and leave it suspended while it stretches. As soon as you set it down, you're changing the dynamic of the stretch. And 10, nine, eight, seven, ah, six, five, four, three, two, now, if you can, by range of motion, go ahead and sit yourself down without putting your glute on the ground. I'm not there yet, so I got to support myself for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, glute down. Now I'm gonna take the outside elbow and line it up in the inside of that knee. So that I'm facing, I'm pulling towards this foot. All right, continuing the stretch because my body is already sitting, not parallel. I should be sitting in this position. We don't have that range of motion yet. I. So we come here. Oh. For the first five, four, three, two. Now you're gonna take this outside, the outside elbow and bring it over here and line it up with the knee. Now you're taking that stretch and going the opposite way with it, using the outside elbow. Now this is the inside elbow. You're using that outside elbow to keep you upright so you don't slouch over. You're using it to keep you upright as you twist. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you come right back over. <sighs> to this one. Bringing that elbow outside of the foot now. Leaning in to the foot. For 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ha, la, la. Getting all into that glute. <clears throat> While we're up as much as we can. All right, now, how do we come out of this position? We come back up. That leg is extended just across, just like that. Leave it right where it is. Do not adjust. I want that leg almost inside so that it twists coming across that back. You feel that so significantly coming all the way from your lumbar up to the lower part of the floating rib, right to the middle of the back for a 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Slide that leg in. And then come over. <sighs> All right, pigeon again, come over. Let's use the mat. Slide back. Slide back. This comes up. You come up. And now that stretch, you can see where I'm going with the stretch. You see how my quad is completely off the ground, hamstring is completely off the ground. All right. And 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two. Go ahead and put it down on the ground now. Lay that back foot down. Keep this hand out so you can keep yourself upright, right? You want to be away this way. You want to be going towards your foot, not leaning this way. That's disconnection. Leaning this way for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now you're going to take this elbow and line it up with this knee. All right. And 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both elbows down. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up, extend right there, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And if you let the hip of the leg that's up, if you let that hip rotate out to the uh, back of the ball joint, you can kind of shift your weight there. Now you're stretching that hip and extending this leg, you're absolutely getting a twofer right there. And both of them are balancing each other out, so it's a beautiful thing. And you can really kind of lean into that hip right there. And the more you lean into the hip, the further it extends the leg. So it's just like perfect, perfect counterbalance on both sides. And now that we got that engaged, let's go for it again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. That is a nice, nice stretch. I didn't really feel both of them counterbalancing until I really started to bend that knee. And I was trying to do it on, on the other side, but uh, that the, uh, the uh, hip is a little bit too tight for me to even try it. So it was nice to get it done on the other side. All right, stand up, let's reset. Oh, left, forward, forward. Oh. Other direction. Really try to keep those knees rigid and push through each position all the way around. It's a little more science to it than just what it looks. I mean, the object is to keep both of those feet straight. And try to really rotate the body as you go around so that you're at opposite points. Oh. My back doesn't real crack like that again, but I just released my back standing up. And I did. Wow. Never done before, ever. I've never done it before. Wow, that was new. Never done that before, ever. <clears throat> All right, let's come on down. We have time for just a hurdler stretch. Perfect. <sighs> I can't believe I just re, re uh, did that by rotating, standing up. Amazing. Thank you, body. Well, I'm doing things for it to say thank you to me too. All right. So at an angle here, like this, swing over. That quad right now 
We're not going to focus on the hamstring, so I don't mind the foot um, flapping out like that. What we're going to do is we're going to come back. Both elbows back. That's first. This foot is flat. Okay? Not tucked behind you. That foot is flat, just like that, as it can get. I'm getting all of the quad coming off of the, the inside of the knee this way, as opposed to it being bent. And I'm only getting things that's coming off right off the center and the outside. And we really want to target that inside because that's the problem areas. And that's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. We come up. And here we bend. This elbow comes down to the ground. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. From there, we come back. It'll be live for the next 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Use the uh, elbow, opposite elbow with the leg bent. Push off and assist. And if you got it, the touch and hold with a twist. I think that was the last real crack on that side. And leg swings out. And up. Wow. Good, good, good stuff, guys. All right, ready? Other side, swing it out. like that, both elbows. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. This one's gonna be tough. This side doesn't like it as much. Elbow down. Ah. <sighs> Told you. 10, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and use that elbow in this hand to twist, come up, and if you can, bring that there. Ah, 
there's nothing left there. Oh. All right, I'm swing it out. All right, guys. That was one heck of a oh, hamstring uh, hurdler stretch quad reach was really what it was. That was really, really awesome. Opening that quad up right there and getting those hips to finally, finally give us some results. All right, guys, from me to you, another perfect stretch. Thanks a lot.